Here we have the last three questions that showed up in 2015 under the topic nuclear chemistry. So let's take a look. Once again, we have information here about a breeder reactor and that plutonium-239 is undergoing fission. All right, so let's take a look. Question 8, based on reference table N, identify the decay mode of the plutonium radioisotope produced in the breeder reactor. All right, so we're looking for the decay mode of PU and it's 239. So let's take a look. Here's reference table N. And the decay mode is right here. And that would be alpha decay. Okay, if you just put the alpha symbol, that would be fine too. But it's called alpha decay. Or again, the symbol. Let's look at question 9. Compared to the amount of energy released by one mole of a completely fissioned plutonium-239 is the amount of energy released by the complete combustion of one mole of methane. Fission reactions and fusion reactions, by the way, release a huge amount of energy. So this is just a fact that the amount of energy released in a fission reaction is huge compared to that of a combustion reaction. And again, that's for fission or fusion. That's just a fact. Make sure you know it. Let's take a look at question 10. It says write the notation for the nuclide represented by the missing product X in this equation. Well, just like the other videos, in order to balance or figure out the identity of the missing particle, I have to add up mass numbers on both sides of the equation and atomic numbers on both sides. So. I'm just going to rewrite it here. I have one neutron plus plutonium 239 and 94. Over here I have my X. I got my 94 with krypton 36. Now, the two in front of the neutron means that you have to count the mass number. You have two neutrons essentially. Okay? So when I'm doing this, let me switch colors here. Total mass number on the left is 239 plus 1, 240. And that's going to be equal to the same thing on the other side, which is going to be X plus 94 plus 2. So in other words, 240 minus 94, which is going to be 144. So that's for the mass number. For the atomic number, you do the exact same thing. I have 94 plus 0, so I have a total of 94 on the left. And of course I have x plus 36. And of course 2 times 0 is 0, so it's plus 0. I'm just going to write it so you see it. Alright, so 94 minus 36 is 58. So all I have to do is look up the identity for, ele um, sorry, for element 58, which is CE, which is cerium. So make sure you put the symbol and the mass number along with the atomic number, okay, to get the answer. Okay, so this is the last nuclear chem question from 2015. There were a total of 10 short answer questions on nuclear chemistry. So New York State right now seems, seems like they like nuclear chemistry questions for the second half of the test. So practice your questions, and good luck.